I'm talking to you today about tofu and soy. And my dog doesn't want to hear it. Bingo. Bingo. So, Bingo's not happy that we're talking about soy today, but Bingo's on high alert because we lost power, the generator's going. It's one of those days. But, despite all that, I am here to talk about tofu and soy milk and edamame and all the benefits that a plant-based diet gives you. So, edamame. This is immature soybeans. They're smaller and I actually like them already peeled, already shelled, and the protein content in a serving is 11 grams. That's not bad, and that's in half a cup. I didn't look up the protein content in soy milk. Um, gosh. Well, you can look on the side of a container of soy milk and see what the protein content is. I didn't take the other so tofus out of the package yet. See, it, the lights are flicking. It's, it's just a glorious day. I have silken tofu, I have, Bugsy opened the door now, hopefully you can't hear the generator, I have firm tofu, and I have tempeh. Tempeh is actually fermented soybeans. So we have young soybeans and we have fermented soybeans, so these are in their most natural state. Then we have the tofus, which are actually, it's almost like cheese making. They take the soybean, like make, they're making soy milk, and then they coagulate it with either um, calcium or magnesium salts, and they, just like cheese, will get it into a form that can be managed. So I'm going to open up the silken tofu, which before I do that, I'm going to tell you, four grams of protein in three ounces. Uh, firm tofu, nine grams of protein in three ounces. And tempeh, 18 grams of protein in three ounces. Ding, 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 the winner. So let me open these up for you to take a look at. And the silken tofu is not, all the water's not pressed out of it. That's why it's silken. It's almost like a fresh cheese that has not been drained, like the way cheeses are aged and they dry out. So I'm going to pour the water off the top of it. And there's not a lot of water that you'd be pouring off the top of it. And you can see it's almost like a custard. Very light and fine. So this is really popular in dips and desserts. Now, the firm tofu, on the other hand, is almost meat-like in its texture. And this gets drained a long time because what you're going to do with this is it, it's almost like a sponge. You can see all the little cracks in it. And look, it breaks off different than the silken. It, it's grainier almost. And so when you drain it really well, it's going to absorb whatever you marinate it in. So I personally really like using coconut aminos, and to that I'd probably use some garlic and some ginger, whatever I feel like. And I would slice it and marinate it and bake it in the oven or fry it. I would cube it and marinate it and toss it into a stir fry. Or I crumble it up and I make tofu balls, and I'm, I'm sure I've got a recipe for that on my website. Now tempeh very similar. Now, tempeh is not going to have water in it. It's already been dried, kind of. This is the way, it, I mean, it's not like dried out, but it's not wet like the tofus. 
which open you up. And I treat it the same way as I do the firm tofu. I marinate it and cook it. This can also be used in salads. It's very nice um, in like a faux Waldorf salad. You can make it into um, a faux tuna. See? So this breaks off very neatly. And this is just wonderful for you. So there it is. Real quick, tofu, tempeh, soy milk, and edamame, and a couple of, and, and the edamame too is something I'd toss onto a salad. I would put it in pasta, put it in a rice dish. There's anywhere you might use beans, you could use this. Although I, I don't think I'd make a chili with it, but anything else, you, you could toss it in the soup. Edamame is um, just a real nice addition to your diet along with everything else. Now, a quick side note. Years ago, um, when, so, when uh, tofu and soy milk were first being introduced to the, um, not just to this country, but to the masses, let's say, people just went crazy for it and were drinking large amounts of soy milk and it got a bad reputation for causing cancers, particularly breast cancers, because there are phytoestrogens in the um, tofu and soy. If you look at studies on people from countries where this is the um, dominant food, you see much lower rates of cancer and breast cancer. It's once it becomes uh, part of a wet, once that, that culture or country adopts a westernized diet, that's when you see cancer rates rise. But if your doctor has told you to avoid soy, I, I never um, argue with a doctor or with doctor's orders, but I can tell you that soy is a good, healthy product and you can enjoy it in moderation. You don't have to eat all of this every day, every, every different kind, but you can comfortably enjoy soy as part of a healthy plant-based diet. So that's what I got to say about that. And I'm not going to do any cooking today just because, as I said, I'm living on a generator right now. So I will post some recipes though, and you can check them out. And at some point I'll be back to cook. And then you can have some recipes to enjoy. Have a great day.